It also has a number of templates available for your use, and these are helpful for organizing group assignments uh, for group projects. It has uh, the person who's responsible for something, uh, the date that that's due, and specifically what it is that they're supposed to, to get done for the group. And uh, here we have a, a blank slate uh, where I was able to uh, rather easily uh, introduce a number of different functions uh, into a blank slide. And uh, all you need to do is drop in a triangle, possibly bisect that with a few lines. You might want to insert a little bit of text into those, and uh, you could perform that one of two ways. Either you could drop into the pen function here, and you could write out your text using your mouse, or if you actually had a smart board, uh, the markers that are present on a smart board, you can right click on that and tell the computer to recognize, tell its, uh, its writing recognition software to recognize the word fact. Or you might decide that rather instead of uh, writing that text in, that you would prefer to type the text. And you drop down a box and uh, possibly type the next word that you're going to have there in your graphic and you can adjust the size of that type using these font interfaces or uh, you might decide that you want to write it in, or in the last part of it in a, in a really kind of funky sort of format and you can use one of those other fonts that's available and that of course looks like spray paint so and some of your kids might think that that was kind of cool. This is a little bit more cleaned up version of that same slide uh, that I had an opportunity to take back to my office and play around with uh, between classes. And what I decided to do was go ahead and stick in uh, my uh, thumb drive, my pen drive, and it would be easy for me to go ahead and save that slide or this entire presentation there in my thumb drive at the conclusion of the lecture. I could just simply go to the Save As function and uh, if I decided that that was something that I wanted to use again I could just save it right there onto my thumb drive and uh, have it available for the next time I taught that class. Here are some different graphics, uh, images of the knee that I've downloaded uh, into my gallery and uh, I just cut and pasted some of these from an internet program and uh, that would of course uh, give you a lot of opportunities to discuss the different parts of the knee and uh, to, to teach folks about all of those different parts. This is a, a template that's available in Professional and uh, this is t designed to help you manage meetings uh, with the pros and the cons of different decisions that you could possibly make in that decision. It also has another template here for a SWOT analysis for a strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats analysis. also has a to-do list number of other images that are available for you to download into your presentation or for you to insert into your presentation. Here's an example of the moral legal decision making model. Also has a ready-made uh, application here of Maslow's hierarchy of needs that you could insert into your presentation. Has a number of these uh, different uh, keyboards available as well. Uh, be obviously you know very helpful in uh, teaching music applications. This application uh, is great for teaching integers and it does both uh, negative and positive uh, integers. And you can see that it's pretty high powered. It really takes it out possibly even further than a lot of calculators. These are uh, flashcards and once you see the correct answer you can just uh, click on the snap function and it will stop indicates that you've uh, gotten the answer correct. These are four different uh, video files uh, that are available in the gallery sampler. And these are for uh, anatomy, uh, obviously physiology, kinesiology. It's a, a skeleton and some of the different associated symptom or, uh, systems of the body, uh, such as the, the skeletal system and uh, the vascular system uh, walking and uh, the skeletal system running. Uh, S different systems sitting and standing and uh, different systems uh, jumping all the way up. And you can pause those and rewind them and 
use them to discuss different things as they pertain to kinesiology or anatomy and physiology. Obviously these graphics would be useful for teaching American Sign Language and you can uh, download these or insert these from the gallery sampler and you can make them larger or move them around. You can minimize them and move them back. This is a, uh, another application for teaching music. This is of course another application for teaching math. And it allows you to compute slope in addition to those other things that you might want to do with it. This final application here is useful uh, for any professor really. If you have a student that uh, gets a, a very difficult question correct, you might give them a guitar riff. And that will certainly uh, get the student's attention. If they do something correct, you might give them a round of applause or uh, maybe even a drum roll to build suspense when you're leading up to the answer to a question. In addition to all of those different functions, uh, Smart Notes also provides this uh, recorder uh, right here off the toolbar and I recorded the entirety of this demonstration using the Smart Notes recorder. So I hope you agree that the Smart Notes functions are valuable learning resources and I hope that you will integrate them into your classes as quickly as possible. Thank you.